get our hands on this thing and see what we got. We definitely had them all around us. I'm talking literally all around us. How the emotions starting to set in. Unbelievable. <laughs> Down to the wire. He's coming in. Thank you. This week on Double Lung Outdoors, we're going to be in Healy, Alaska, hunting with Coke Wallace. We actually made the trip last year. We were hunting moose. We uh, come off the hill. He was give or take 350. We wanted to get a little closer. Not that we didn't feel confident about the 50 caliber, but we got within 150, 200 yards, and I mean, I smoked him. This year, we're going to be hunting dial sheep in the Alaskan range. Jaron and I started out a couple of days ago. Well, no, actually yesterday started out of Dallas. Actually, Jaron started Sunday out of Ohio, got into Dallas. We picked him up Monday, and uh, here it is Wednesday evening. We're in Alaska. We're with Midnight's Sun Safaris, old Coke Wallace, Joe. We thought we might have a little bit of time to kind of do a couple of things, which we did take a little, uh, few minutes to shoot the gun in because Scotty, as soon as we hit the ground, he said, are y'all ready? So Jaron and I are fixing a pack up. We're gonna go probably on a four hour ride here, spock out in a, another camp, get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is opening morning of the sheep, and that's what we're here for. So uh, stay with us. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors here in Healy, Alaska with Coke Wallace. see kind of what we're doing now this is the first day here and unfortunate our guide has broke it to us that we are going to camp out for a few days you can see our cabin here to the right of us I think they said it's 100 plus years old. And uh, it obvious, obviously looks like it. We're in for the night. We got here probably about an hour ago. Set the cots up. I'm gonna put three of them in here. Unfortunate, Scotty drew the short straw. He's gonna have to sleep outside tonight. They've got the horses tied off. Jaren's went down and got some water. But uh, it does look like we may be here for a day or two. We do have a lot of sheep in this area. Seen some coming in. We've seen a, a, a grizzly, seen about four or five uh, caribou coming in. It's uh, 1030 now. Scotty wants to get up here in a couple of hours, so uh, he thinks it's going to take us about two or three hours to get up on top. So he wants to try to get out of here about three o'clock in the morning. We don't like uh, far from being three, so uh, we're going to get ready, get settled in for the night. We're here in Healy, Alaska. We're going to be chasing uh, dial sheep. We uh, slept for a few hours uh, in this little Skinner shack here. So uh, we're up, we've had our oatmeal this morning, we've had a cup of hot coffee, and uh, we uh, decided not to saddle the horses up. I think it's about, uh, give or take an hour to where we start up this ridge, it's in behind me here. So we got about three hours ahead of us to, uh, to the area where we're gonna stop, set up, start glassing for some sheep. Healy, Alaska, looking for a dial sheep. Like us on Facebook and look for sponsor promotions and giveaways. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. This segment is brought to you by Talent Roofing, quality roofing since 1987. Apple Cracker, supercharged deer feed. Alamo Precision Rifles, the best rifles on this side of the Pecos. 
You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. I guess it's officially sheep's open, right? What'd you do, spot some sheep back in camp? The opposite camp? Two of them up in that saddle. Well, we were on our way to the little one area that Scotty had us picked out, but uh, he did see two in front of us, and uh, it's just not light enough just yet. I think it's, what, 5.30, Scotty? Yeah. A little after 5.30. He's probably legal, but unfortunate. Scotty wants to track on and see if we can find a bigger one, a bigger one or a herd of them, as they say here in Alaska. Care how much you do you come from the lower 48 and come up here and you're you know not in the best shape i try to stay in pretty good shape be active but uh unfortunate this is a butt kicker and uh and we hadn't even really started climbing yet but we do got some sheep spotted in front of us. Scotty and them's on the way up. They're gonna sit up. But we're fixing to take off and head up. We're gonna stay along the spine here. Yeah, just, just, just stay along the spine the way up. Yeah. Them sheep go over. They're still there, still there. but they, they climbed up. Well, we'll keep an eye on them. Scotty's got us on a goddamn walkabout. Uh, and uh, Scotty has spotted some sheep. There's quite a bit of them. He's wanting to track on up to the top. So I guess he's con talked us into it, convinced us that we may be shooting a sheep here within the next two hours. Okay, three. <laughs> <laughs> we made it as, as high up as I would call the top, but unfortunately it's not the top. You can kind of see them behind me, the top. There's two standing actually. Yeah. Left standing. yeah, the left one and the one in the right that's kind of working his way up. Mm -hmm. Probably 10 or, 10 or so ewes and yeah. several rams. Maybe one or two that might be legal, right, Scotty? Oh, God, okay, I see more now over here where this one was in that uh, draw mm -hmm. next to the alders. We've got up here, we've had sheep all day, all around us, but unfortunate, now they're starting to move. And, uh, but it's, you know, it's 6.30, we're still, two, two and a half hours from our base camp. And uh, we're another three hours from the main camp. We're fixing to knock off for the day, head back to base camp. Scotty's gonna put us uh, some eggs and bacon on the grill. Right, Scotty? We made it back to the little base camp here, and uh, unfortunate today we went up, which we did see plenty of sheep today, but uh, unfortunate we just didn't find the right one. And we chose to come on down instead of staying up there tonight and uh, get back here at base camp. We're gonna get us a bite to eat, get a good night's rest, get up early in the morning and get started. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors. 
This segment is brought to you by Reveal Cellular Camera, always in the game. Dillon Manufacturing, fiberglass deer blinds. B3 Archery, built the best, by the best, for the best. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. We're going to head to the Moody, restock, and we're going to probably take another three or four hour ride up the valley to our next little spot camp. More than likely we'll be there for another day or two. But uh, it's starting to kind of rain a little bit, overcast. Unfortunate every day after this day, it definitely uh, is calling for rain from 50% up to 100% for the next seven days. So we hope we miss it. But anyway, we're packing up, heading to the Moody and restock and then see if we can uh, get on a sheep this morning. On the way up, we seen multiple sheep uh, or did see some rams. There could have been one of them in there. We've seen caribou, al uh, caribou along the way. We're definitely seeing a lot of things, just unfortunate that not that legal sheep. When we first got in here, we were supposed to be camping out at this Dean's Creek and uh, unfortunate it didn't work out. So we've just been hunting around the main camp here, but uh, we are heading out this morning, Dean's Creek for the next three to four days. We're gonna get, we're gonna make a move just in case the sheep drop down. We're gonna jump on the horses, move on down the river, and uh, hopefully they'll drop down, get us in, get us in range. There you go. He said it all right there. Well, um, you know, we, we've definitely been on sheep today, unfortunate. Just, uh, you know, we've got some up on us right now, about 800 yards up, up in the rocks, but we just, uh, we just don't know if it's legal. And so it's getting late. It's right at nine o'clock. We've been out all day. We're gonna saddle up. We're gonna head back on in, get a good night's rest, get a little bite, bite to eat and get started in the morning. We are gonna get out now and get the glassing. It was real foggy this morning when we got up, the fog's lifted. Hopefully we can get, uh, get the glass along here and see if we can get us a sheep found. We shot up here to the top. We just couldn't get a good, uh, Scotty couldn't put good glass on them just yet. We don't know if they're legal. They went over. We're gonna make a move and uh, I'll set up somewhere else. It's nasty, it's fixing to start raining. We're gonna try to get out of here. We're still, still probably an hour back to camp and we are soaking wet, every one of us. Tomorrow will be day sixth. Okay, we're uh, two nights here in this camp. We're tearing it down. We're heading back to the Moody. I think it's rained the whole time we've been here, off and on, more on than off. Uh, we're soaked, the equipment is soaked, uh, clothes are just drenched. Uh, we're gonna head back to the Moody. It's probably, uh, we're gonna hunt along the way. So it's gonna take us 10 hours to get there today uh, on horses. So uh, we're gonna have to walk a while and ride a while. There's a lot of uphill. We'll have to walk them uphill. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be hunting along the way possibly get lucky enough to see a sheep. If so, then we'll make a stock on it, see what happens. If not, we're gonna to get to the moody tonight, dry everything out, and get started tomorrow. We're kinda of wanting to get back get a good night's rest. Uh, we hadn't had that in two nights. It was supposed to get cold. <laughs> it was supposed to get cold and possibly start snowing. And uh, our little guide here, he wants to take us off tomorrow. And Jaron and I are fighting him right now because we want to hunt local, the local uh, sheep tomorrow, <laughs> no long distance sheep. <laughs> so, uh, but no, 
We're fixing to call it a day, heading back, get a good night's rest, get a hot meal. Uh, might even get a shower tonight and uh, start, start early in the morning. Like us on Facebook and look for sponsor promotions and giveaways. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. This segment is brought to you by Elite Archery, makers of the world's most shootable bows. Kuyu, the most advanced mountain hunting clothing and equipment on earth. Clay Gully Outfitters, Florida's premier hunting and fishing facility. This segment is brought to you by Fox Pro, high performance game calls. Eberly Stock, our favorite hunting pack. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. Day eight, we're gonna ride about 30 minutes out of camp, tie up the horses. We're gonna have to do some hiking today. Parker has seen some sheep up high, probably between four and 6,000 feet. We hope we get lucky today. Got on the horses, made our little track up, kind of we tied them up in a little draw where a lot of grass is, and then we just kind of hiked up this little knoll right here. I'm telling you, literally, we've been walking ever since then. We've been walking probably since about 7.30 and uh, we're up right at almost 6,000. I think we started at about 22,000 or 2,200 or something like that. It's him, man, he's in a good spot. We're in the Alaskan Range uh, Mountains, and uh, you can see where the sheep live. He's 200 yards, Jaron. I'm fixing to have to get on him. They, they spotted us. It's going to have to be quick. Almighty. Oh man. Jesus God. <laughs> Woo. Oh my God. Eight days. Eight freaking days, man. We started this morning at uh, 6 30. It's 8, 9 o'clock. I, I, I don't really know. I mean, but uh, I do know that we've got to get up here, get him tagged, get him dressed out, 
and I don't know, we may end up having to spend the night on this uh, uh, hill tonight. And uh, I don't know if we can make it back. Man, he's heavy, isn't he? We were here actually last year, moose hunting. Jaron and I, we was watching these sheep for some crazy reason. I thought, you know what, I want to go after one of them. And uh, by God, here it is. Eight days later, he's down. We're going to get him tagged out of here. Parker Wallace, Coke Wallace, Midnight Sun Safaris here in Healy, Alaska. <laughs>